Um, so don't actually, I'm a very sensitive man. Uh, it will hurt my feelings if you actually make fun of him. But, I mean, three fantasy football leagues. Let's take a look at all three teams of mine, and I want you guys to let me know what you think of all the teams and how far you think these teams can go. And I'm going to show a little bit of highlights from the draft, any funny moments that happened. I know some weird stuff happened in a couple of them. Uh, so let's just get started with the first league. Bet on him having a good year. I was able to get McCaffrey at the sixth slot in one league. Because who went ahead of him? Jefferson, Chase, Eckler, Kelsey. I don't know who else. So I think someone might have taken like Bijan pretty high. Wow. Travis Kelsey, third overall, is... Um, I get it. Like, I understand it because of the positional advantage you get. But it's I don't know if it's enough to take him third overall. They've got a place in my heart as well. Okay, somebody is going to be available to me that I didn't expect. So he's, I bet he takes, yeah, he takes Tyree Kill. So that's fine with me. I'll take Bijan Robinson. I wonder if he's reading up on Cup's injury right now. Like, how bad is this really? Okay, he took Diggs. Okay. I'm going to hope that Devontae Adams is available when it's my pick. That's probably who I'll take. Schnauzer's probably going to end up having to take, I bet he gets Cup. I bet Cup falls to him and he gets auto picked at him, um, which could end up being a good thing. Well, Cup got taken. Interesting play. Wow, Gabe should take Chubb. Whoa, Chubb is falling. If I were them, I would either take Chubb or Garrett Wilson. Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry over Chubb? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, weird play. I think I and Devontae Adams. I think he's gonna finish like top five again. Wide receiver two last year, he's going to be in that same range. I think people are overreacting just because of Jimmy G, but like, Mixon over Chubb? You got a team, dude. I have the same team, actually, so far in another league, and I love the team. And with me. What the? Justin Tucker, ugh. in the sixth again. This happened last year. Buddy, you're picking third for a reason. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same guy who did it, too. Okay, I'm going to take Carlson. What the? I'm making sure I have a good kicker, dude. I don't give a damn. You make the what the sound effect all you want. All right, so this league is the league I've been in. This is the fourth year I've been in this league. First ever fantasy league I did. I have finished third, missed the playoffs, finished third. Let's see what happens this fourth year. In this league, I had the eighth overall pick in a 10-man PPR league. So, for this team, I have Lamar Jackson at quarterback. If he's fully healthy, he could easily finish as QB1. For my running backs, I have the duo of first-round rookie running backs. I've got B. John Robinson and Jameer Gibbs. You know, rookie running backs usually hit the ground running. These guys were taken in the first round. I bet they put up good enough numbers for me. Next up, I got the AFC West uh, wide receiver duo. I got Devontae Adams and Keenan Allen. I think when Keenan Allen came back from injury last year, he was like a top five fantasy wide receiver. I'm hoping that he just continues that on this season. Tied in, I have Darren Waller. I had him last year in this league too, and he burned me. Luckily, I was able to uh, get Hawkinson. I think somebody dropped him. I don't know why somebody dropped him, but somebody dropped him and was able to pick him up. But this year, I got Darren Waller, but I think he's going to be fed the ball a lot in New York, so I'm betting on just massive production from him. Um, hopefully, he pays me back for what he did last season. Now, my flexes, as of right now, they're James Conner, who I think is going to be maybe the only bright spot on the Cardinals' offense. And even if he's, he might not even really be a true bright spot, but he's just going to get the ball a lot, a huge workload, a lot of production. That, that's all that matters in fantasy. So I got him, and then I have Jordan Addison, um, wide receiver two to Justin Jefferson. You could probably still put up some pretty big numbers. Um, I think, I think he's, he, I think he's going to have the best season for all the rookie wide receivers. And I'm on a good streak of rookie wide receivers. Didn't quite get the number one rookie wide receiver last year, but I was close with Chris Olave. But I went from Justin Jefferson to Jamar Chase to Chris Olave, and now I'm banking on Jordan Addison. Really good streak going of rookie uh, wide receivers, and I need him to continue it. My kicker, third year in a row of having this kicker, Daniel Carlson. Last two years, I've had him. 
been kicker number one in fantasy, betting on him, repeating it. I mean, he's got the leg. He's knocking down 50 yarders like no other kicker in the league, at least in terms of volume. Um, I'm banking on him being wide receiver, sorry, being kicker number one again. And then my defense, so I, I, I never stick to my defense. I never stick to a defense. And it's one of the reasons it's always my last pick, is I just pick whichever defense has the best week one matchup, and I just cycle through there. Uh, best remaining defense with the week one matchup was the Jacksonville Jaguars. I picked them because they're playing a rookie uh, quarterback in Anthony Richardson week one. So I'm betting on them being able to kind of terrorize this rookie, give him his welcome to the NFL moments and put up some pretty big numbers for me in fantasy. The bench in this league, I got Anthony, speaking of Anthony Richardson, I got him as my backup. Um, I'm hoping, you know, through the season, he starts to develop a little bit in his rushing ability. Um, could be huge. And um, honestly, my hope is to flip him. Who's Lamar's bye week? Originally, my plan was going to be to flip him, but Lamar's bye week is actually week 13. I think that's playoffs in this league. Let me double check. It's the game right before playoffs. So I might have to hold on to Anthony Richardson, uh, and hopefully he's, he's, he's come along by that point and can, can take Lamar's uh, – Take Lamar's place in the regular season finish to make sure I make playoffs. But having two really good running quarterbacks, fantasy-wise, that could be huge for me. Maybe I do trade one of them at some point during the season to upgrade some other positions, but I doubt it. Um, and on my bench, I have two rookie running backs. I like to go for rookies, I guess. I got uh, Zach Charbonnet, who I think is going to be the reason Kenneth Walker loses people fantasy leagues. I think he's going to cut into his carries a little bit, and he's definitely going to take a lot of the receiving work from him. So I got Zach Sarbanet on the bench, and then I have Roshan Johnson, who I think I took like second to last. Um, he's already getting reps with the first team. Um, I don't know why he's able to go as late as he is, why I was able to get him as late as I did, but I got Roshan Johnson right on the bench, and I think that he could be a play that might win me the league. And then I got Odell Beckham sitting on the bench. I think if, you know, if... If he's Rams, if, he doesn't even need to beat New York, but if he's Rams Odell Beckham um, for the Ravens being a good um, security blanket for Lamar Jackson, I think that could be really big for me. And then my backup tight end is Luke Musgrave. I saw a lot of TikToks and a lot of talks about this sleeper tight end, Luke Musgrave. Green Bay is going to need him. He's tested off the charts in athleticism. And I bought in. I said, okay, honestly, I believe everything you're saying. It makes a lot of sense, him and Green Bay. Just getting an absolute, um, getting really good production there because they just need people to throw to. Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, who else? I bought into all that. And I got Luke Musgrave riding the bench. That's that's the first league. That's the first team. This is the most important one to me. If I miss playoffs and all the others, but I win the championship in this week, sorry, in this league, I'm considering that an absolute win of the fantasy season for me. But now let's check out the other sleeper league I'm in. With the first overall pick in the 2023 Depressed Fantasy League, I will be selecting Justin Jefferson. No brainer. No brainer. Damn. 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 All right. So I'm definitely going to take. Ugh. I've got Soho, dude. I do not love anyone here. Chris Olave. Um. I'll go Chris Olave. Should I reach on Jameer Gibbs? I don't want to reach on anybody. You know what? I guess I'm going. I guess I'm going three right three, three wide receivers. Fuck it. Let's scan around. Let's see if I can find the worst pick. Worst pick. I uh, don't like Jonathan Taylor this high. He's going to be missing four games for sure. And then he's going to be playing with Anthony Richardson, who's going to be stealing some goal line stuff and some some rushing from him. So I definitely don't like that pick. Um, Goddard, right at Goddard being your next pick after taking Hawkinson is weird to me, especially when you draft another tight end later. Um, favorite picks. Darren Waller down here. He's going to get a lot of volume, so that's a good one. Um, Trevor Lawrence in the seventh is pretty good. Um, 
Let's see. Who took Kirk? Oh, that's about where Kirk should go. I don't like the Isaiah, the, um, Isaiah Pacheco pick. I doubt he does much. Kamara stash is probably pretty good play. Let's see. Um, I don't like doubling up on Chris Godwin and Mike Evans. You're doubling up on two Tampa Bay wide receivers who are going to get thrown the ball from Baker Mayfield. I don't love that idea. Maybe one has a good season, but I doubt both. Uh, what was the other one? There was another. Oh, Debo Samuel this high. I don't quite get. Finishes wide receiver 35 last year. Um, I got the better. I think I got the better uh, San Francisco wide receiver with Brandon Ayuk, who finishes 15 last year. My favorite pick that I was able to get. Um, I actually don't love any of my picks, if I'm being honest. I don't love... There's not like one where I'm like, oh, I got a steal here. Uh, I was kind of forced into some stuff. I was super glad Aaron Jones fell. I guess... I guess I guess being... This guy doesn't have a kicker. Auto pick gave him four tight ends. What is this? Hold on. Oh, you guys can't even see it. Hold on. What is going on right here? What's happening? Darren Waller. Great pick. Okay, Higby. That's probably a decent backup tight end. Why have three tight ends? Why have four tight ends... And no kicker. What's that about? That's weird. This is probably this is one. Of, it started off good with auto pick. I was like, okay, Cup, Saquon Barkley. That's pretty good. Okay, okay, Smith, Metcalf. All right, I get it. I get the reasoning here. Darren Waller, love that as a tight end for you. Miles Sanders. I bet he doesn't do as good as people think. Kirk Cousins. Okay, good. You know, late uh, quarterback to target. Dalvin Cook. I don't like. Brandon Cooks, I don't like. Kadarius Tony, I don't like. Bills defense, okay. Rashad Penny, that late I think is good value. And then just three straight tight ends. What happened? What happened? But that's the uh, that's the draft. So. All right, this one I don't know anybody. Last league, uh, really good friends with one of the guys in there, the commissioner of the league. Actually, this league, I don't know anybody. But let's take a look at the team and see if I can beat all these people that I have no idea who they are. This league, I ended up getting the first overall pick. They randomized the draft order, and I got blessed with the number one overall pick. You tell me if it was actually a blessing. I kind of was disappointed when I saw that I had the number one pick because that turnaround is rough. That first turnaround is rough to deal with. The way the board fell on this one, uh, I couldn't really get running backs early like I like to. But you tell me how this team turned out. For my quarterback, I have Justin Fields. I think he has quarterback one upside in fantasy. My running backs are Aaron Jones, who I think is getting undervalued. I think there's some uh, running backs to get taken ahead of him that he's definitely going to finish higher than. Um, I think that they're going to run the ball a lot in Green Bay. And since A.J. Dillon hasn't taken the, the running back spot from him yet, I don't think he does it this season. Um, and I think Aaron Jones has a monster season and wins people their fantasy league. So he's my running back one, along with Alexander Madison. I'm just hoping that he gets enough volume in, in the Vikings offense. I think he's their only real running back option right now, if, I, if I'm if i thinking correctly. Um, but I'm just hoping he gets the volume. He's my RB2. My wide receivers, though, are Justin Jefferson and Jalen Waddle. I got the wide receiver one from last year, and I believe the wide receiver seven from last year. So I think that is definitely the strong point of this team. Those guys are going to put up numbers. My tight end is Pat Fryermuth. I think um, Evan Ingram and – I'm trying to think. Evan Ingram and Kyle Pitts. Oh, and I think Dallas Goddard as well all go up above him. I, I'm willing to bet he finishes higher than all three. I think he gets the ball enough in Pittsburgh from Kenny Pickett to finish as a top top seven – Let's say top seven fantasy tight end. And I think that he's probably the best, uh, l you know, later round tight end pickup that you can have. I think we're going to have a good season for Pat Fryer if he's my tight end. With my flexes being Chris Olave and Brandon Ayuk. Um, Brandon Ayuk finished wide receiver 15, I think, last year. Olave was 22 and he has a quarterback upgrade. Um, I'm really banking on these wide receivers carrying my fantasy team. But honestly... I have a good uh, quartet of fantasy wide receivers that might actually be able to do that for me with a rushing quarterback who could put up some big numbers for me. Um, but let's move on. Kicker, uh, I was able to snag Justin Tucker. I was like, screw it. Um, I didn't like any of the other guys that were there, so I took the best kicker in the NFL. Finishes kicker number two last year. 
Justin Tucker. It is you play him, and you're, you don't even have to think about that position ever when you're putting Justin Tucker in your lineup. The defense I have is the New Orleans Saints. If you look at their schedule, I don't think they play um, a scary offense until like week seven when they play the Jags. They play a lot of rookie quarterbacks and bad quarterbacks the first six weeks. I usually like to cycle through defenses, but the Saints are, might be one I hold on for a couple of weeks. Uh, but I'll still probably end up dropping them, you know, moving around. The bench is almost identical to the last league. Um, in this bench, I have Anthony Richardson, Roshan Johnson, Jordan Addison, Luke Musgrave, all guys I had on the last one. But instead of, who did I have last time? Charbonnet? So instead of Charbonnet, I had Samaj P. Ryan, who I think is going to be getting a lot of the workload in Denver to start the season while they ease Javante Williams back in. And if Javante Williams' injury um, still affects him this season, Samaj P. Ryan could be getting a lot of work in Denver um, and be a pretty good fantasy option. Definitely a good backup, maybe a tight spot flex play, but, you know, decent enough to have on my bench. Now, those were the two sleeper leagues, and then I did a ESPN Fantasy League, and let's see how that one worked out. And yeah, I think I will take Christian McCaffrey. I had him last year. He was really good to me. I don't know. He took Josh Jacobs. Do I double up on running back? Yeah, I'll double up on running back. I had that's, that's too hard to pass up on. Nick Chubb? Are you kidding me? In the second round? I think the end of the second round. I said, fuck it, give me a kicker. I took I took Daniel Carlson, back-to-back -back number one kicker. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, somebody already took Carlson. Oh, fuck. Wow, that really fucked me. Hold on, let me look at kickers. Holy shit. I might have to snag Evan McPherson. So for the quarterback, I have Justin Fields again. Mentioned it before. Quarterback, one upside. Really good get. For my running backs, this was the strength of the team. Christian McCaffrey fell to me with the sixth overall pick. I snagged him up real quick. And in the second round, somehow, they let me get blessed with Nick Chubb. I think both of those guys have running back one upside, so to have both of them on the same team, unlike the last team, this team, is strong point, is easily the running back. The wide receivers I have, I have Calvin Ridley, who I think could have a absolutely great year with Trevor Lawrence. I'm... I'm predicting top seven wide receiver in fantasy numbers. I wouldn't be surprised. I would honestly guess that he finishes his top five. I don't, I, <laughs> I'm not a guy who's really out here studying stuff. I'm really just saying shit, but I'm just, I just feel that way. And then DeAndre Hopkins, yeah, he's lost a step, not quite the deep threat he is, but I think working in the middle of the field, working in the slot, working with Ryan Tannehill, I think he's going to get enough reception specifically in this PPR league um, to be a really good wide receiver too for me. Uh, my tight end is once again Pat Fryermuth. I I just like taking him late. If if I miss out, once Hawkinson is off the board, actually that's not true. Once Waller is off the board, once the top five wide receivers of uh, Kelsey, Adams, Kittle, Hawkinson, Waller, fantasy wise, top five wide receivers. Once those guys are off the board, I do not. I feel like I'm wasting my pick if I take Pitts. Goddard is safe, but I I just I don't think he finishes high enough for this. Evan Ingram. I'll wait on those guys. Those guys can, can get taken. I would take Pat, Pat Fryer move a couple rounds later than them and just play him safely as my tight end. My flex in this league, this league only has one flex, is Aaron Jones. That's right. I am super high on Aaron Jones, and he's able to be my flex because I got blessed with probably the best. I, I have to have the best trio of running backs in this league with CMC, Nick Chubb, Aaron Jones. That's going to be monstrous. That is what I'm hoping will carry me to a fantasy championship in my first year in this league. I don't know. I know my aunt in this league. That's all I know. Yes, I say aunt. And then this league is weird because this league has defensive players, like individual defensive players you can draft. And I don't know how the scoring works because I just went off the best, like, projected players. Uh, when I took the defensive player, I took Max Crosby. But it's just weird because when I looked at the rankings, like the first guy was a linebacker. In Jacksonville, not Lloyd, who I have no idea who he is. A couple other linebackers. Um, just players I haven't really heard of. Some I've heard of, but they're not like necessarily stars. And then like way down, you see like Watt, Bosa, Parsons. So yeah, I just don't understand how the defensive player works in the fantasy league. But I just, they said Max Rosa was the best to take at the time. So I took him. The defense I have itself is the Ravens defense. I'm doing this, you know, I'm doing the same thing where I just, 
I take a defense, and I'm just going to be cycling through. But they played the Houston Texans week one. Rookie C.J. Stroud, I think they're going to be great for me that week. And then my kicker is Evan McPherson. I always, you know, I really want Tucker and Carlson, but they both were taken. I just barely missed out on Carlson, which pissed me off. So I had to take Evan McPherson, who could still be a uh, top three fantasy kicker, potentially. I don't really like to guess on kickers, but I think he'll be pretty good. And then my bench. Going to get the obvious out of the way. I, I once again have Addison Richardson and Musgrave. I also have Charbonnet in this one as well. The new guys on this bench here are J.K. Dobbins, who I feel like could is a, is definitely going to be boom or bust in um, in fantasy. Can he stay healthy? If he could stay healthy, I think he could have a really good season fantasy-wise. But that's what we'll have to wait and see. Um, I also have Dalton Kincaid. On it. I do have two tight ends on my on my uh, my bench, and the reason being is because I just I really feel like all three of them are going to be better than some other people starting tight ends. And I think combining them with some other players who aren't playing for me, I could probably win some trades to upgrade my uh, my fantasy roster. Um, and then I have Elijah Mitchell. Um, I have CMC in this league. But if CMC gets hurt, which is always a possibility with him, I have the perfect backup plan with Elijah Mitchell. So if CMC gets hurt, I already have Elijah Mitchell. So it'll hurt me but maybe not as badly as it would other CMC owners. So let me know what your favorite team of mine is. My favorite is probably, I think it might be the first one. I think I really like, I like Lamar, my quarterback, with the rookie running back duo, and then Adams and Keenan, I, Keenan Allen. I think both of those guys could finish as top five wide receivers in fantasy. I really do. I think it's out there. I'm not. I would. I would pick Adams to do it. I wouldn't necessarily pick Keenan Allen to do it, but I think he's capable of it. But yeah, that's probably my favorite team. So let me know what you think. Do I suck at drafting in fantasy, or am I good? You let me know. All of these were ten man leagues, um, so it's not quite the difficulty of doing twelve man leagues. But you know, regardless, let me know how you felt. Let me know about your fantasy teams. How you're feeling about yours? Go ahead and give this video a like. Subscribe for more of the stuff that's coming. And as always, keep gaming.